For the first time tonight, anyone can say this. We get to go to the Ranger Stadium. Brand new Globe Life Field welcoming all fans tonight. Fathers and sons seeing a game here together for the first time. The first American professional sporting event without an attendance cap since the COVID-19 pandemic began. And the fans have missed their... Texas Rangers. I'm super excited. I've waited forever. Oh, heck yeah. I'm trying to get back to some normal. But with the potential for a full house amid a still present pandemic, would they be comfortable here at the new ballpark? 100% fine. I mean, we got the right, uh, uh, I would say, uh, measures working and then we're good. We're good. But I'm worried about it, but this is why we're here right now to see how it is and figure out if we're going to come opening day. Attendance wasn't overwhelming. Estimates are under 15,000. And for some, that made a difference. I mean, that's why we're here on tonight as opposed to, you know, opening day or something like that. But we're still with everybody wearing masks, the roof being open, people being distanced. I think it'll be it'll be fine. The Rangers said in a statement that they will enforce the mask rule and that when they request voluntary compliance from someone not following the rules, they quote almost always get it. But do the fans think other fans will wear their masks? We'll see. <laughs> Upon entry and on the concourse, almost everyone followed the rules and wore their masks. But as you might have guessed, once people made it to the comfort of their seats, the story changed. A bit. With the attendance numbers fairly low, the number of masks removed wasn't surprising. And we saw many who made efforts to seemingly eat or drink all night long. But what will opening day look like seven days from now? Well, next week, 40,000. Will we all be comfortable? Probably not. Which has already led some to make this decision. Probably too crowded for our family. At Globe Life Field in Arlington, I'm Mike Leslie.